All right, guys, I'm really excited today. I am joined with Melissa Carlton with State Farm Agency. Melissa, do you wanna tell us a little bit about yourself and your company and what all you do? Yeah, sure. Hi, everybody. Um, so I'm Melissa Carlton with State Farm. I'm so happy to be seeing people, at least Dan's face right now, uh, being stuck in quarantine is not fun at all. Um, but what I do is uh, we just try to help people with any insurance needs that you might have. We do everything across the board. So auto, home, um, life, health insurance, we do it all. So we are your one-stop shop when you're looking for insurance. And we try to go above and beyond for our customers. We'll probably get into that a little bit more as we go along here. Yeah. Um, how long have you been doing this? I have been with State Farm for 10 years. Oh, wow. And I've been an agent of my own company now for five years. Oh, okay. I wasn't even aware that you owned your own company. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> what got you into it? What made you decide to start doing it? You know, um, I was a single mom 10 years ago and I was going to school full time and trying to raise my daughter, Ava. And my brother had mentioned to me that he had started with State Farm. He's actually a State Farm agent as well. Um, he said, I think you'd really enjoy this and I think you should give it a shot. And I did, thankfully, 10 years ago. And here I am today after, you know, working my way up the ladder, basically. Yeah. So what do you think that um, separates you from other companies? Um, I'll use the example of what's kind of going on right now during COVID-19. Uh, you know, what, set, what separates State Farm from other companies is we are giving away $2 billion back in dividends right now currently wow. to our policyholders, which is roughly in Missouri, 20%. Just huge. I'm so proud to be a part of a company that's doing something like that. We are giving away more than any other company out there currently at the moment. So that's exciting. Um, what separates my agency in particular, we have actually spent the last couple of weeks calling all of our customers to check in to make sure they're okay. So our biggest concern right now is do you need us to drop off toilet paper? We'll find it <laughs> or groceries or, you know, especially our older folks who don't want to leave the house and it's extremely dangerous for them to right now. Yeah. That's what we're here for. We're not just your insurance company. We want to be part of your family and your friend um, and help you in, in the time of need. So I think this is what really where I can stand apart from other companies right now. And I'm proud to be able to do that. I have a staff that backs me up. Uh, we just brought sandwiches into Children's Hospital last week and gave it to the staff. It was my it was my staff's idea to do that. Yeah. And they actually threw in their own money to make sure that that happened as well. So I got to be a part of that. And, you know, those are things that are really special for us. Yeah, that's really great. So what do you kind of along that lines? What are some of your favorite things about what you do? You know, when it first started out, I just loved being able to show people how insurance can be fun. <laughs> that's got to that be, be a hard sell. Right. I'm sure most people are like, there's no way. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of interesting things that goes into what we do. And, and, I, and I, the more I got to explain that about coverage selection and why certain things are important, I, the more I fell in love with it because I really felt like I was doing a service for people. Right. Um, as time has gone on, I still love that part as well. But I got to tell you, Dan, my favorite part today is really being able to give back. Um, we do so much work with APA, Stray Rescue. Um, next step program. There's lots of organizations that we're involved with. And that to me has been like, you know, what makes me feel good when I go to bed at night yep. is being able to do unto others. I feel like I've been blessed with these opportunities. And again, especially in times like right now, this is when I want to show what we can do for other people too. Yeah. That's such a great motivator that kind of keeps you going and makes you want to be as successful as possible so that you can help other people like that. That's cool. For sure. Yeah. So what, during these times, um, coronavirus is affecting everyone's business. What kind of stuff has it affected with you? Um, what kind of things are you doing differently now? So that's a good question. I think the major effect that we're having right now is, you know, a lot of insurance revolves around home buying and car buying. Mm -hmm. So if those businesses slow down, then we're obviously going to be, we're going to slow down as well. Um, so a lot of it for us has having to be kind of, you know, advocates for ourselves and go out and get that business and, and make those connections still, which is a different time for us to be able to do that. Um, obviously it, it revolves around social media and, and doing things like these, these type of things. Um, yeah. but you know, it has been tough. It has been an adjustment to work from home and try to 
balance for me, it's, it's work and home life. So I still have homeschooling and things going on here as well. So I understand any parents out there that are trying to make all this work. Um, it is very challenging and we're just doing the best we can to be yeah. honest. Yeah. Everyone across the board. It's fascinating <laughs> hearing everybody, um, learning new things and being more personal about stuff and being like, you know, my child may run in the room and we don't know. We're just right. going to deal with it as it comes. And people are sympathetic of that. And like, it really creates that personal bond. I think yes. that's really cool. That's awesome. Yes. Um, so how can people, who are your primary customers right now? You know, everybody's a customer, a potential customer for us. Uh, there really isn't anyone, you know, that we, we wouldn't like to take a look at as far as the insurance goes. And just to see if we can help. I'm a big believer. I'm a firm believer in being very honest and upfront. And even if we're not competitive on price or, or things just aren't matching up, I always feel like down the road at some point it might. Um, so do, do your best to help people out and, and look at it. And then, you know, hopefully someday it will fall into place. But um, so everybody for us is potential customer and, and just, you know, again, anything, even if somebody had a question when it came to insurance and they just wanted to know something on their, their policy with a different company, I would still be here to help them anytime I can. So how often do you encourage people to shop around on their insurance? You know, it's, that's an interesting question. I'm going to come from the insurance side a little bit here because I do think what's important about loyalty with insurance companies is a lot of them do give back a loyalty discount. And we do take that into account when we're looking at rates each, you know, each term or each renewal. Um, so you will find that, especially with, with companies like State Farm, I'm sure American Family does their own version in all states too, is um, they do these loyalty discounts of accident free discounts that add up over time. So if you shop, you just, you might be missing out on an opportunity like that. And, you know, I mean, everybody has to do what's best for them at the end of the day. And I get that. Um, but also take into effect or take into account that you might lose some of those loyalty discounts. Yeah, for sure. Um, what kind of goals do you have coming out of, I mean, well, let's start with how, how do you feel like it's affected, coronavirus has affected how you do work now? So that's a good question too. I feel like I have actually had to just really adjust to multitasking. Yeah. So I think coming out of this, like, even though I thought I was a good multitasker before, I don't think I really knew what I was uh, doing until now. Um, but no, I think, I think coming out of this, like I had to get a home office here and make sure that I have a full setup here at, at home. So that's really nice is now I've got that aside, you know, if I ever do need to be here. Um, and also I think what's happened with me and my staff is we've grown closer through something like this. Yeah. Uh, it really also gives me the chance as an employer to show them that I care. Um, so I think we're going to come out of this really, really strong. I, I can't wait to see, you know, what happens once we're done. We can get back in the community and do events and things that we want to do. But yeah, I, I, have, I have high hopes for us, for sure. So how do people, how can people support you through all this, um, show love, that type of thing? You know, if you guys, if just giving us a chance to quote your insurance, even if we, again, if we are higher, we're going to tell you that and be upfront with you. Right. Um, but just the chance, just the opportunity. It doesn't, it doesn't cost anyone anything, but a few minutes of their time. Yeah. Um, all got so, time right now. Yeah. Like even, even being able to do that would mean so much to us. Uh, just, you know, being obviously having my own agency and being a single parent um, and trying to support my, my business, it, it would mean a lot in this, in that manner. But yeah. And we're going to tell you if things don't work out for you or it's not a, it's not a good fit. So. Yeah. How, how can people do that? How do they find you um, website, social media? What's the best way of contacting you? So it's a good question. Everything is revolved around my hashtag. Um, about three years ago, I kind of reinvented myself. I realized that I really needed to do some pushing with marketing so my whole hashtag is MC got your back um, because we do, we've, we've got your back and we've got, everything is revolved around that. You can find our website at www.mcgotyourback.com. You can find me on Facebook under Melissa Carlton State Farm Agency, or if you look up MC got your back, you'll find me there too. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much where obviously you can get a hold of Dan as well. And, and I don't mind personal, you know, phone calls, I have to work for my cell phone right now. So that's okay too. And sometimes that means working at eight o'clock at night. And that's the way it is. Yep. All right. Last question. It's a really cheesy one. I love to ask this of people. What is one word or a 
short sentence that you'd like people to use whenever they describe you and how you do business? I would love for people to use, if they're going to use a sentence or a word, um, caring or, you know, giving back or, or got your back. There you go. <laughs> that's the hashtag. The hashtag. The is hashtag. Perfect. <laughs> that's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah. I love it. Well, I, for one, am always excited to talk to you and I'm excited for whenever things go back to whatever the new normal is going to be that we can right. work on some projects and stuff um, and get out and socialize and enjoy life. So I appreciate your time. Um, I won't keep you because I know you got lots of work and you probably have some more schooling to do for your kids and get back to it. Well, thank you, Dan. I appreciate it. Thanks for the opportunity to talk to you. Yeah, thank you.